Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by Easy Academy. In this particular video, we're going to be covering how to understand the, the metrics that are being generated in our performance test. So this is going to be discussing some of the metrics you will see when you run the producer performance test client and also the metrics that you will see when you run the consumer performance test client. So let's get started with today's objective in today's video. I will start by showing you a sample output from the producer and then showing you a sample output from the consumer and then we'll take a look at some of these different metrics from each of these clients to understand what it means and then I will take a look at some of the different uh, web pages and documentation from Apache Kafka that you can take a look at yourself to do a deep dive on each of these individual metrics to understand what, you, what they mean as you tweak the different knobs to see how your adjustments and your configurations are affecting the overall performance of the environment either for the producer side or the consumer side so let's take a look at some example um, in this example here i'm going to run some tests on the producer side so here we're going to generate 10,000 records each record is going to be a size about approximately 1000 bytes and we'll go ahead and run that. So let's do that and see what happens. So when we are doing this, what you're gonna see is that it's gonna show that it's attempting to transmit the records. And then immediately after it transmits the records, we see this huge output that is being displayed. Let us scroll to the beginning and see what is going on here. So we see we see the output and then we see that we were able to send 10,000 records. So let me copy this output here. And let us inspect what is happening at this producer for this particular example. So here, the, the very first line is showing us the total number of records that were sent. In this case, 10,000 records were being sent. The average number of records per second is 925 records per second. It shows us the latency. So on average, we had about 4.5 seconds uh, or 4,400 milliseconds average latency. The maximum was 99.37. And then we have these percentile numbers. So. Some of you may not really understand percentiles. I just, I'm just going to take a, a few moments and explain what this means. The 50th percentile here shows us that 50% of the records fell under this particular amount of uh, milliseconds in terms of latency. So about 50% of the records were below 4,348 milliseconds in terms of the latency that was observed at the producer. Then we move to the 95th percentile. Here we have 8838, so that means that 98, 95% of the um, examples of the instances or the population fell under this particular number. And then 99th percentile here shows that 9791, so 9791 uh, milliseconds was the 99th percentile. If you have a sample population, if you have a particular percentile, so like 50, it means that 50% of the total sample set fell under that particular number. In this case here, the latency is quite high. So we would like to keep this very, very low and not observe this particular type of uh, latency. So we have the 50th percentile, we have the 95th, 99, and then we have 99.9. .9. So that shows you the sample set and what each of them represent in terms of the percentages of the of the population that fell on that particular number so it's good for us to keep the maximum very low keep the average very low and then make sure that a lot of them are falling under a very low number so that is what that particular one means then we have these other ones here that are showing us the commit ID, the start time, the version, and all those things. The commit ID, this has to do with the version control, like Git uh, 
hash and the commit ID for that particular client. And then we have the start time in milliseconds for Unix time when this particular test started. And then we have the version number of the client. In this case, I'm using 3.1.0. And then we have the total number of metrics. Over here, we have 135. And then each of these different things here, like batch size, batch split rate, buffer available bytes, all these different things, you can find them if you head out to the Kafka documentation page. So you head out to kafka.apache.org documentation and then under monitoring in section 6.8, um, subsection section two, if you take a look at that, you're gonna see some of the metrics that are available for the producer, consumer, and the connect and streams. Outgoing byte rate, request rate, request total, all these different things are being defined here. So you can take a look at them and see what each of them means. Like we have request total. So this is the total number of requests that was sent from this particular instance. They call it node. So this was sent by the particular consumer instance or producer instance. And then if you wanna focus on just producers, we have uh, things like buffer uh, uh, total bytes. So if you take a look at this particular output here, we have buffer total bytes. But what does this mean? So this is the amount of buffer memory that is available for the client to use, um, whether it's used or not. And then we have the available bytes. So this is what the one that is free and is not yet allocated. All these different metrics are being explained in this section. So it's important for you to take a look at this. The link will be in the description and you can do a deep dive. As soon as you get the output, you can explore what each of these different, about 135 of them, uh, what they mean. I'm gonna take a look at some of them. In this one here, we have such things like record sent rate and record sent total. So the total number of records that were transmitted from the producer to the broker was 10,000. And then this is the send rate. So if we copy this here and we head over to this page, we can take a look at what this meant and we can see. So the send rate is, it, is it an average number of records that were sent per second. And the send total is the average total number of records that were sent. And then we have all these other diff, um, details here. So this is very important that you take a look at all these different um, data points and understand what they mean. Um, there are quite a lot. So going through all of them here will be very time consuming, but I encourage you to take a look at it because as I am running the performance test, it's really important for us to understand what each of these numbers mean so that we don't just look at it and then we don't see how the adjustments of the configurations is having an impact in the overall flow of our test. That is what I have to cover now from the performance uh, producer side of things. So all the metrics are available here. All you have to do is to head over to the documentation, go to 6.8 under monitoring, and then you can look at the producer monitoring metrics and you'll see all the different definitions for each of these things here. So we're gonna take a look at that. The next one I wanna cover is when we run the consumer. The consumer is gonna go ahead and pick up the metrics the consumer picks up all the records that were being transmitted to the broker. So running this here, I see different data points that are coming out, like start time, end time. I see data consumed. I see number of messages per second and all these different things. Similarly, if we head over to section 6.8 under consumer monitoring, we're gonna see these different metrics as well. We see the comment rate. This is number of comments that calls that are made per second. We see um, let me take a look at another one. So we see byte consumed, average number of bytes consumed per second, total number of bytes consumed, the latency is described here, the fetch size, the fetch rate, total number of records that are fetched are fetched 
and then we have the uh, records lead which indicates how far we are from the high water mark so the high water mark is the position in the log the kafka partition log that describes uh, where we are in terms of the current replica of that particular um, uh, partition uh, um, instance so if we if this number is too high what that tells us is that we are kind of um, far behind and we may have to do something about that if it is too low it indicates that if it's very close to zero it means that we have pretty much caught up with the uh, particular replica and you need to do something about generating more records from the producer side so a very high number is not too good and a very low number means that we're gonna we might have to wait because the consumers are kind of like very fast in terms of catching up with uh, the replica followers so that is what this particular one means it's not really obvious by records lead but if you take a look at that you can see so we have the bytes consumed the fetch size and all these different things if you take a look at that you would see all the different metrics that we have latency is going to be very important for us to pay attention to that so looking at all these different lags and lead times and consumed rate and latency average and minimum and max fetch and all those things it's going to be very important for us to pay attention to that but i just wanted to show you an example here where we have the output and using this uh, plugin we can see all the different colors and understand what they mean the start time the end time of the test how much data was consumed in megabytes the number of megabytes uh, per second we have the data consumed in terms of number of messages number of messages per second the rebalance time the fetch time how many how many bytes megabytes were fetched and how many megabytes per second was fetched so that is very important for us to understand and we'll also take a look at this and this will also give us metrics that we can use to analyze how our adjustment of configurations is impacting the, the overall flow of data between the producer to the broker and then to the consumer and then that is that is what we have covered so far so we reviewed the producer metrics we also reviewed the consumer metrics and it is going to be very important for us to head out to this page bookmark this section 6.8 because this will really help you as you are running this test to see what is happening at the producer and what is happening at the consumer in other videos we might take a look at connect and streams but for this particular one the main focus is to analyze what is happening as data is flowing from the producer to the broker to the consumer so this page gives you all the information that you will need um, that was everything for this particular video now if you like this particular content i strongly encourage you to subscribe because if you subscribe and click on the notification icon as soon as new content is available you will be the first to find out right away you can also support the channel by visiting our patrons uh, section on the patrons uh, platform to support easy academy and then you can check me out on twitter to follow my twitter uh, handle and get updates as they are available i also have a website uh, where you can check out some of my content and my courses and then if you are very interested in learning more about how to use open source uh, data platforms like kafka like flink and uh, mongodb and so on using all these different open source data workloads and software to process data you can take a look at this course and give me feedback on what you think about it so that was everything for this particular video i really thank you for your time and i will see you in the next video